and welcome to my channel. As we all know, it's coming up to Halloween, so I had to grab some of the mini first uh, Make It Mini foods, and these are the Halloween versions. Um, I had tried to grab these last year. I think I only managed to grab the one, um, so I was quite disappointed with that. Um, but this year I was straight on it, and as soon as they came out, I picked them up. And I believe I have years three to collect, and I believe I got all three. And the way to find out is the wrapping for all of them is different. So you see the wrapping for this one has like worms and all, whereas this one, um, there's like a straw and I think it's like a drink. And this one here, the wrapping is like a cake. So that's the way to find out um, what you're getting. And then, of course, these are what we will expect. We have, a, um, it looks like a trifle, I think, or something like that. Uh, we have this cool one and a wee drink and of course there is a limited edition that i think can appear in any of these balls um because it says for the collectors the three main ones which you can get here which i matched as the ones i got or if you're very lucky there's an exclusive which i believe is beetlejuice themed and that one can appear i think in any of the balls um i think the only way you can really guarantee it is if you weigh them there's something to do with that it's all about weighing it's how you get them it's the thing they seem to do, like for example, for Christmas, I think they did um, Elf um, food as their exclusive. And for Easter, they did Willy Wonka as their exclusive. I have yet to get any of the exclusives, but I'm fine with that. I'm just happy to have the um, food items that we get. So anyway, enough waffling for me. I'm going to open these up, starting, I think, with this one. And we will see what is inside. So I'm going to move these two out of the way. And we'll start with this one here, which has the kind of graveyard theme so I'm assuming this is going to be this one here which is very good so let's see what is in this one and if I'm right my goodness that was fun to open it was like past the parcel every time I got one layer done there was like another layer underneath so three layers later here we go I ended up getting bored getting frustrated and using my exact so unfortunately there's no scratch marks on this but that's okay this is what it looks like let's pop it open and let's see what we got inside oh this is so cool so this is the table and then this is the rest of the table some we stay in there but i think yeah we can just rub that off and let's just pop that on very cool so we can display our piece when we're done and what you can also do is if you want to is you can actually put the table in here because like a circle there and you just pop the table in it so that you can make this as like a display which is really fun i love how many first reuse the um the packaging which is really awesome so this is it so i was i right so these are okay so these are the three that you can get um and then this is the exclusive which is the sandworm and then this is how you can make them so let's find out which one i got so i think this one judging by the packaging is these here the dirt cups but let's find out so let's open up this first which is have a spooky day and let's see what's in here we have chocolate pine cake and we have oh some big sweets which is like a wee coffin so i think yes yeah, so i think i'm right i think these are the dirt cups and then this one, I imagine it's going to be the tweezers. Oh, I do have my own tweezers, which I'll probably use. Because these ones aren't actually that great for picking up. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, so we have this. And the purpose of this little ghosty is you can put it on the lid here. And it means, if I can do it. Hold on. There. <laughs> and it means that when you're done, you can put that on top and it's like a little oh, <laughs> it's like a little display so that's really cute so i'll pop that there in the middle for now um but we also get these tweezers um which i will probably not use because like i said i have my own ones which will be more detailed and then we have these two shovels which i guess will act as spoons which is a really cool idea and we have these for the drinks to sit on and I will swim in closer once I get things out so you can actually see me making them um, to make it easier. Then we have the spiderweb glasses. Look at this here. Isn't that so cute? Sip of Spooky Limited Edition. Very cute. And at the top it says party. Party. Sunny day party. And let's see. 
how gorgeous that so we have like spider webs at the bottom and along the wee top here so that's really pretty so let's put one there and put one here lovely so i'll move that out of the way because quite a nice box to keep and then let us do this one so i imagine this is the resin that says chill out of the little spooky ghosts and let us see so, yep this is our resin and it's creamy milk chocolate it's called but obviously this is pretend uh don't eat it it is resin and again if you're working with resin um be sure to wear gloves and this one says trick or treat wear gloves be in a well-friendly area and make sure the resin doesn't touch your hands because it can cause a reaction and here we have our sour worms how amazing is that i'm i almost don't want to take them by the packaging like that is so cute i love that so much anyway there's everything out so now let's look at the instructions so here's ours right there so it looks like you have to layer it so i'm going to do it with a one cup with you guys and i'm not sure i'll do the next cup after so i'll zoom in so you can see this in better detail there we go okay i don't want to put it on this here just in case i spill it in the resin or anything and ruin it so first layer is the pine cake so let's see if i can actually open this pine cake Ooh, so i think we use how amazing is that so it's like a sand i think it's like a sand texture that's really cool and it says to use the shovels to put it in oh my goodness this is so cool sorry i realized my hands are getting in the way apologies i might just have to use okay there we go and then i guess just squeeze it down oh the shovels doesn't really seem to be working there we go so just keep layering it until you get a nice thin layer on the bottom i believe and then we add the resin on top that's gonna be okay so the shovels weren't really helping so then i just use my fingers to just kind of squeeze down so there's the first layer and now let's get the resin open so let me just get my exacto knife to open up the resin let's see Still will not exactly done. There we go. Okay, so here it is. Um, if it's hard coming out, what I suggest to do is get a little bit of water and have it sitting in the water for a couple of minutes. Uh, have warm water, not hot, but just warm, and that usually works at making it that little bit easier to come out. But let's hopefully, hopefully it'll come out without that. There we go. We're just gonna add a wee small layer. And that's us. And I'm going to let it settle on top. This might take a couple seconds. Might use the plastic tongs for that. But obviously, whatever you use, just be aware that this is resin, so you might need to throw it out afterwards or at the very least cure it. Okay, there we go. So there's our next layer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure that layer and then I'll do the next layer. So, give me a second. Okay, so that's it cured. Now to add the next layer of the uh, cake mixture slash sand. Hopefully I have cured it enough for this. Um, obviously for curing it, if you you can use a UV light, uh, which is probably the quickest way of doing it. Um, and you just cure it for a few minutes. Or if you don't have a UV light, just see it outside in the sun. Obviously we're coming into winter though, so you know... <laughs> It may take a wee bit longer for it to cure. Okay, so we're on to number three. And let's pop it open, slum all that out, give it a shake so we can see it stand. And look at that. How cool is that? It's very pretty. So let's pop that in there and put this to the signs there out of the road. And we have there's our two skull glasses. Let's open these up. So we have number one. This is what they look like. So, so cool. So let's get those out of the box. And yeah, it's just like slim edition on one side. Two skull glasses and sip of spooky. 
so yeah it's pretty much the same design as the other glasses that we got and then I imagine this is going to be the tray that they're going to be on how cute is that and I have just dropped my tweezers <laughs> which I will probably need so there we go and again just the wee instruction sheets which we don't need so I have it so we have this one here that says trick or treat and uh, it has uh, gummy bugs that is so so cool and we have this one here which has all the old blue bits so again we have our tweezers our little ghost for our display and we have two straws we have a purple straw and an orange straw and then we have have a spooky day and in here we have our whipped cream which if we open it has actual whipped cream but it's like plastic we have ice cubes as well which is pretty awesome i think that was everything in that bag yep and then the final bag is our resin which just says keep chill out and it is toxic green apple so there is everything out so let me turn it around so i can see the instructions um for this one it pretty much just says put everything in <laughs> so let's do that so i'm gonna pop i might put this at the top so you can actually see what i'm doing okay so there we go so it's a little bit tilted hold on Right, for some reason, no matter what I do, it's still a little bit like tilted, but it's fine. It will do the job. <laughs> it's just so that you can see what I'm trying to do. So I'll pop this on top and our two glasses can go in the eyes, I guess. And then we just pour in our resin, which I imagine is going to be green. So I think I'll half fill these up. Oh, there's a big bubble. I don't think I'll fill them all the way. There we go, that'll do. And then this one. Okay, it's a bit harder getting out. So if yours is doing this again, just you can just leave it in some warm water and it should make it a bit easier. Oh, and they went over the edge there. Let's make sure I have it all. Okay, and then I just let's get all the pop all these bubbles. So I'll use the tweezers that they gave us for that. Try and get all these. I mean, I don't mind having some bubbles. Kind of goes with the whole, you know, poisoned look. But there we go. And then we're going to decorate it with our ice cubes and our candy. I suppose we can use the straw to do that to mix it all in. So there is just gonna open up our two straws. Okay, so I'm going to open up our ice cubes now. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so I tried to open up the ice cubes, they have flown everywhere, but I managed to grab a couple before I did, so here they are. So I'll put a handful in each thing, and because it isn't cured yet, it should just sink. And I can just use the um, straws as well to poke them down. And then we need to put the gummy bears, or gummy bugs, sorry, in as well. So we've got some worms. Them in. That looks like oh my gosh, that's lovely. And um, there should be some spiders in here as well. Let's see if I can get these spiders out. Yeah, I kind of want the spiders in. So there's one spider, another spider. There we go. And then maybe the centipedes as well. I think I'll do this. Oh, it's a miserable day outside today. But anyway, let's just focus on this. We're going to squeeze these all in. Pop 
these all in, mix it all together. Not do it too much because I want them all to sink into the surface or to the ground. I want them kind of like the place that we go. And then we'll do the same with the other straw or purple straw. Again, we're just going to pop them down a little bit. This one's to be a bit more full. I just want to stir it so that they're in different spots. They're not just all sinking to the bottom. So let me see. There's the spider. And I'm going to partially freeze it or cure it just enough that I can then set the um the cream on top and that gives way to our cake which is now finally done and unfortunately i just realized that the sprinkles have gone inside little holes so let me just apologies for that so uh unfortunately the sprinkles for the cake have gone inside it so i put the um things to cure so while they're curing i'm going to see if i can try and get those sprinkles out so that i can now decorate my cake Okay, hopefully this is working. So let's say we're going to pop that on there. And then we're going to get our things. There they are. And then our web. So the idea is that you put the web on. I have it strategically placed so that the holes are visible. There they are. And then we're going to put our bats in the holes. And there we go. So there we go. There is the cake done. So that's very cute. I'm going to move the cake over here. And hopefully now this one is cured enough that I can now put, oops, it is a R thing. So I'm going to put an orange one in here. There we go. And our purple one here. And then. We can also put some, I might actually put a little bit more resin on if I have any left. Actually no, because I want it kind of all over the place, so I don't really want to use any more of that resin. And then we just put a little bit more of the gummies on top. So maybe the worms might work best. So I have my nice purple tweezers, and I'm just going to them all like so and our little centipedes on the end here and again on this one like so there's not really a lot of room but there we go so i think that'll do so i'm gonna put onto the uv light for two more wee seconds and then we will see all three of these together give me a second okay so here the three are all together so this is a bit of a longer video than i normally do i usually try to keep my videos to 10 minutes but this one is looking like it's going to be like half an hour um apologies for that but hopefully it'll be worth it these are looking absolutely amazing so as you can see we have our cake we have our um like dessert whatever that is um and then we also have our drinks as well so these look absolutely amazing unfortunately i did not get the exclusive one but that's okay i think what i did get i absolutely loved um if i was pick a favorite it would probably be the cake i think it's amazing um but it did take the longest to cure as well um, I will probably put these under the UV light for a wee bit longer uh, once I finish filming because they are still a wee bit sticky so I'll do that. But I think overall they've come out really really well. I love them. I definitely say give them a go. Um, they're so fun to do and I especially love how with these series you actually know what you're getting which is great instead of it just being you know um, a surprise. Um, because you know these are roughly around £10 and it is a bit pricey so to not get doubles is great so i absolutely love these i can't wait to have them on display and yeah i hope you enjoyed and if you did please be sure to leave a like and if you'd like to see more from me please be sure to subscribe and until next time bye